new phishing scams continue to emerge and strike victims who think they are communicating with an established trusted brand. To keep us up on the latest scams and help us prevent falling victim to their deceptive practices are our friends from School's First Federal Credit Union. Travis Mara joins us live to share his insight on how to recognize and avoid these fraudsters. Hey, Travis. Hey, good morning. Always a pleasure to be here. Yeah, always happy to have you on. So, Travis, looks like the scammers are at it again. Yeah, they definitely are. And, you know, it's uh, scary to think, you know, it's no longer kind of a question of if a scam is happening anymore, but rather, you know, what is the latest scam I need to be aware of? Yeah. And today we're talking about phishing scams kind of involving Amazon and PayPal. Uh, you know, what we are seeing is a trend of these scams. You see them in all different walks of life. But uh, in order to kind of know what we're talking about today, it's it's important to kind of know what phishing is. Yeah. Uh, you know, phishing with a PH is kind of a, a fraudulent, uh, I guess, practice of sending emails pretending to be reputable companies. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of these is to trick you into giving your personal information, such as your password, your credit card information, right. other uh, kind of personal uh, financial information. Another term out there is smishing. Uh -huh. uh, that is kind of the same as phishing, uh -huh. but uh, instead it's referring to receiving that material kind of via text message. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're aware, text message is also known as SMS messaging, so that's where you get the word smishing. Okay. Both kind of fun <laughs> terms, but not fun to be part of. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I haven't heard smishing, so thank yeah. you for informing me <laughs> and our viewers, hopefully. And it seems like you were mentioning, there's a whole new vi vocabulary mm -hmm. being created around these fraudulent practices. And we talked about a little bit how it's um, impacting Amazon and PayPal. So mm -hmm. could you tell us about that? Yeah, so I mean, there is a lot of different uh, scams that are out there. A few to kind of touch on is one is warning you that your account is suspended or going to be frozen. Yeah. You know, what they're kind of preying on is that fear. And so they will ask you, you know, to kind of log in give your password on a fake site. That way they can mm -hmm. get your kind of login information. Mm -hmm. What they're also doing is having you go purchase you know, those gift cards that mm -hmm. we always want to mm -hmm. be <laughs> careful of. And they'll ask for that claim code in order to kind of reactivate your account. Another one is claiming that you receive too much money. They are reaching directly to the sellers yeah. and saying, hey, you know that I accidentally overpaid for that item that you sold. Hey, can you send me that item with my extra money back? And the whole time you haven't received anything. Mm -hmm. And then another one that we're seeing now is messaging you that, hey, there's a pending transaction that you didn't make. So yeah. they'll have you call a number to kind of start that fraud process. Mm -hmm. As you do call them, they're going to ask for your bank information or to remote access on your computer. And, uh, you know, Unfortunately, what they just did is got all of your contact information. Yeah, this is scary because, I mean, when it's like coming from Amazon or PayPal, you want to think, okay, mm -hmm. like I use this all the time, sure. so I see how it's easy to trick people Most in definitely. that. Yeah, so what would you say are some things we could do to prevent this from happening? Yeah, like you said, I mean, there are commerce. There's how we shop. It's what yeah. we trust. And we, so we think, oh, if it's Amazon or from it, it, it must be. So a few things is you really want to be suspicious of random, you know, emails, calls, text messages, especially when they're asking for that quick action. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, one thing you can do, they may also be asking you to, hey, click this link or call this number. You know, you can verify if you hover over those links with your mouse you can kind of see the real URL. Mm -hmm. If they give you a different phone number, you know, cross-reference that with the company's kind of uh, website to see if that is a valid number. Another thing is we never want to give our bank or personal information yeah. over email, phone, or text, especially if we didn't initiate the call. Yeah. Uh, another thing, and also is never give your username and password. That <laughs> yeah. is secret. Never give that. Uh, you know, other things that you want to do is trust that it's genuine. You know, when we get these messages, just because it says Amazon, don't trust it. Right. Do your own d d due diligence. Yeah. Even contact them directly and say, hey, are these claims valid? Mm -hmm. And one other thing that we're seeing to protect your payments is, again, never want to make any payment arrangements via gift cards. Right. And what we are, are familiar with now are those person-to-person -person apps. You mm -hmm. have the Zells and the PayPals. Right. So when we are utilizing those, make sure we trust and know who we're dealing with uh, because you have to realize that's like cash. As soon as you send it, you may not be able to cancel that payment. Yeah, we want to avoid getting that those fraudulent yeah. incidences happening to us. And if people want to look more into this, there's a lot of schools for federal mm -hmm. credit union branches that they can visit. Correct? Oh, for sure. Yeah. And you know, anytime you have anything doesn't feel right with your uh, accounts, please reach out to your financial institution immediately. Yeah. We're all here to help you, guide you, walk you through, tell you what we've been hearing and seeing. And we can sometimes maybe even put some blocks in place to prevent this activity from 
further happening. But yeah. as you mentioned, you know, our website has a lot of great resources that can be found at schoolsfirstfcu.org, as well as we have a great extra credit uh, blog that has a lot of great articles and resources. Uh, all very helpful and timely. Thanks for helping us oh, trying you. not to get a scam, Travis. Oh, definitely. <laughs> we yeah. appreciate it. And like you mentioned, for more information, visit schoolsfirstfcu.org.